The new Mercedes-Benz SL is the car that says you've made it. It's expensive, it's exclusive, it's got presence, it's not small, and it's certainly not shy. Have a listen to this. While the SL is essentially billed as a luxury convertible, this one I'm driving right now, the AMG 63 model, is very much a sports car. It gives you plenty of confidence through the corners, not only from the huge brakes this thing has, but also the super sticky Michelin Super Sport tires. This thing grips like you wouldn't believe. Three different engines will be coming to Australia. The crazy one in this car, a 5.5-litre twin-turbo V8 with 430 kilowatts and 900 newton metres. That's more power than anyone is ever going to need, but tell you what, it's kind of good to have it. And then there's the SL500, which has a 4.7-litre twin-turbo V8 with just 335 kilowatts and 700 newton metres. The entry-level model, the SL400, which could be a bit of a hit in Australia, is going to be putting out 270 kilowatts and about 500 newton metres. There used to be a fourth model, the AMG SL65, a twin-turbo V12, but that model's been dropped due to slow sales. But really, when you've got this much power, I don't think you're going to worry. And while it's awesome to really thrash this car and enjoy its dynamic limit, it's also quite satisfying just to cruise in it. And after all, this car was built to be an exceedingly comfortable and luxurious cruiser. There's loads of creature comforts from air-conditioned and massaged chairs to this very cool roof that at the touch of a button goes from opaque to see-through. In the previous model SL, the roof would freeze if you were driving along, but now, thankfully, you can cruise along at a relatively modest speed and have the roof open. And I gotta say, it's pretty cool. Mercedes-Benz luxury cruiser is not cheap. The V6 will cost you about $220,000. The SL500 V8, that's about $280,000. And if you want the big boy AMG, well, you have to stump up about $360,000. For that sort of money, what could you get instead? Well, you'd be going close to Ferrari California money, and certainly a Maserati Grand Cabrio too. The new SL is perfect. It's got no touch screen and the centre consoles looks a little bit outdated compared to newer Mercedes. But overall, this car is exceedingly refined and it really does make you feel quite special. And it has a heritage that none of its rivals can offer. But ultimately, the people who are gonna buy this sort of car wanna tell the world they're successful, they're special, and probably very sexy too.